Hello, this lesson is on chromatography techniques. And chromatography is an analytical technique. It helps you determine the purity of a substance by separating a mixture into its components. Uh, so you're going to have two phases. The stationary phase um, is not going to move. So that's going to be the solid, um, or in some cases, liquid to which the components of the mixture are going to bind or attach. And then the other phase is the mobile phase. So this is going to be the phase that's moving. And that's going to be the liquid um, or the gas that's going to move the components in the mixture over the stationary phase. So if you have a solid stationary phase, your mobile phase will be a liquid. If you have a liquid stationary phase, your mobile phase will typically be a gas. So with chromatography, the components in a mixture are going to be separated on their different abilities to bind to the stationary phase and dissolve in the mobile phase. So with paper and thin layer chromatography, we use what's called a retardation factor or an RF value. And it's basically a measurement comparing the distance traveled by um, a component of the mixture to the distance traveled by the solvent. So how far did one of your uh, mixture pieces move versus how far did the solvent move? So that um, difference is going to be the RF value. And so here we have a sample chromatography. So your solvent's going to be down here and you're going to have a baseline drawn in pencil so that the solvent can't grab it and draw it up. You want the solvent below your baseline, so the solvent is going to adhere to your stationary phase, in this case it's paper, and on your baseline you're going to have your mixture, so you would put a small dot of each mixture on this baseline, and then as the solvent moves up the stationary phase, now the solvent would be the mobile phase, as the solvent moves up the stationary phase or the paper, it's going to grab these mixtures and as it grabs the mixture and moves up some components will be deposited first so they're going to be the ones at the bottom and then some are going to make it all the way up to the top and those will be last. Um, you don't want your solvent to go past your paper because you want an edge to be able to measure and compare with. So this is your solvent front how far or this is your solvent part how far did it move from the baseline to the solvent front that would be in the numerator and then this is for your component. How far did the component move um, from the baseline? And you're going to go with the middle of the marker. Uh, some markers can be spread out um, really long or they can just be a dot. So we're going to go with the middle of the marker. And so that distance would go in your denominator and that would be your RF value. Um, there are different chromatography techniques. The first one is paper. This is used to identify colors in inks or foods, um, identify amino acids, because the amino acids are going to be heavy enough they can be left behind and ID'd on the paper, and separation of pigments in plant leaves. So here we have some chromatography strips of red maple um, collected at different points during the year. So you can see this one has more chlorophyll, and here there's less or later in the season. A thin layer chromatography is going to identify biological sugars, uh, pain relieving preparation components, anything that can damage um, papers. So thin layer chromatography is actually a sheet of acetate or a type of plastic um, with a silica gel on top. Uh, sometimes you have to use a UV light to identify. You may not be able to see your components, so a UV, a, a UV light is going to allow you to see those markers that you wouldn't normally see with the naked eye. Next is a gas chromatography. This is going to be used to analyze airborne pollutants, urine samples, um, things left over from an oil spill, so like dispersants that are used to clean up an oil spill. Um, they would use gas chromatography to see if any of those are left in the water. Um, so gas chromatography, here's your carrier gas. This would be your uh, mobile phase um, and then in um, you're gonna send your sample into here it's gonna go through your column 
run through a detector and be output onto a computer and then you have your waste traveling so this one is all machine um, you don't really see anything except for a um, computer generated um, analysis and the same thing with HPLC high performance liquid um, in this case instead of um, having a gas you would have a liquid that's going to carry your um, mixture and so this would be used to analyze pharmaceuticals uh, see if there's cyanide present check for organic pollutants in the water um, check for proteins or toxic compounds um, found in shellfish